For the second time in four months, a drag story time event at a local library received a threat. It happened over the weekend. Local pride officials call it another disheartening attack against the community. Vasilios Bellows joins us live. Vasilios, I understand the story time event still went ahead. Yeah, Ryan, Saturday's event went on as planned after police searched the library and deemed it safe. Organizers continue to stress that these events are kid friendly and will continue to take place. A strong message from the local pride community after another threat was made against one of its events. Don't waste your time because it's not going to stop people. It's our choices that we're making as a community. If you don't want to be involved in different community things, if you don't have kids, it's not your business. For the second time since March, a drag story time event at the Mary J.L. Black Library received an anonymous threat. The most recent one was sent directly to Thunder Bay Police, who then alerted the event organizers. Officers responded and searched the area, but found nothing. That allowed the story time and kids crafting session to still go ahead. However, the event was moved outdoors as a precaution. The investigation remains ongoing, and police were not available for comment. Thunder Pride Chair Scotia Kopi says the events are kid-friendly, often aimed at teaching children valuable life lessons. Accepting someone who likes robots instead of dinosaurs was a Christmas story they read once. This weekend, it was about blueberry picking. Like, totally innocuous, nothing that's grooming anybody or anything like that. It's just simple things and then doing crafts with kids. Many in the community say these threats are far more than just a nuisance when trying to put on an event. This is safety and well-being in your own community, um, and that's shattered. That includes Rainbow Collective President Jason Veltri, who says the fact this has happened twice now has led to mental health struggles for many in the community. Veltri says it's important for the city as a whole to come together. Say that this isn't in our backyard, that not here, nor are we going back into the closet, uh, but we are a community that is safe, that is welcoming of in individuals that have differences than ours, and that we're Thunder Bay. We have a giant heart, and we can't allow this to permeate our society. The Pride officials went on to welcome anyone who may be concerned with the Drag Story Time events to reach out to them for education or to attend one in person. Back to you in the studio, Ryan and Riley. Okay, thank you very much, Basilios.